Hey everyone, it is late at night and I'm Norman. This is the sixth video in my 30 dress watches in 30 days challenge. And tonight we're looking at an Omega. All right, so this video might be cheating a little bit. This watch is almost more sporty than it is dressy, but you can certainly dress this watch up. We're looking at the Aquaterra 150 meters watch with a blue dial. And I tracked down a review of it on Fratello watches where it was a summer blue, is what they called it. The full name of the watch that they were reviewing is the Omega Seamaster Aquaterra 150m Coaxial Master Chronometer 41mm. So these watches are larger than 40mm, and the author was talking about how happy he was at the shrinkage in case size, because apparently in the past these were even larger than 41mm. And I know I'm constantly saying it, but I feel like this style should be in at most 38 millimeters. They should do a ladies version at like 35. Then I would really be interested in the watch. If they had a no date variant too. Hmm. But these watches have great Delphine hands on them. The indices are sharp like shark's teeth. And the date is pretty subtle at the six o'clock. The case is sleek and curving and just looks amazing. And the model in the Fratello review has some interesting stuff going on around the lugs. It almost looks like an integrated bracelet. It might be. Yeah, in fact, when I look at the photos of the back of the watch, there's clearly a notch in the rubber strap that it's on. And what's interesting is in their photos, the dial looks like it's really light, kind of a baby blue color. However, in other photos, and those might be different variants, it looked a bit darker. The case back on the piece that they were reviewing is not a display case back. It has an etching on the back of Poseidon. And what is that creature he's riding on? I don't know my mythology. But maybe one of you can tell me in the comments below because you guys know a lot. The dial has horizontal lines on it that look really interesting. And I went and tracked down some other photos, and these are probably different models in some of these, but there's some on a bracelet, and it still kind of looks dressy even though it's a sporty piece. I mean, it looks perfectly at home with a suit, even with the steel bracelet. It's crazy. And at times that blue dial almost looks like denim, which is great on a brown strap. I feel like Jay Leno would appreciate this dial. I can't say that I'm a huge fan of that baby blue strap in the Fratello review, but that's fine. I feel like it would look great on black or a light brown, depending on your tastes. But yeah, these watches have 41 millimeter cases. The lug to lug is 47.9 millimeters. The case height is 13.2, so they're a little thick. They have 150 meters of water resistance, as their name implies. The movement inside these watches is the Omega 8900, which apparently is a beautiful looking movement when you do have a display case back. However, these are Omegas, they are not cheap. They retail for about $7,000. But I like their blend of sporty and dressy. It's kind of 50-50, it's a yin and yang, and you could absolutely go either way with these watches. If you're a dress watch person like me, I feel like these would be perfectly home in your collection. And if you love sports watches, same thing. You could wear them with shorts and a t-shirt or with a suit, and I feel like they would just look right at home. Oh, wait a minute. I took a second look at the hands, and the minutes hand actually isn't a straight Dauphine hand. There is the Omega triangle at the end of it. But I feel like it's kind of subtle and was executed fairly well. It's not overly rounded. 
I really can't handle rounded pointer hands. Those just look weird and eh. But this one's not too terrible. It's interesting how long it is. It goes all the way out to the rehod. Crazy. But yeah, these are definitely summertime looking watches. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.